For over 50 years, Captain Lou Albano has entertained audiences from inside the wrestling ring and beyond, including the number one rated Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Well, I started back in as a professional wrestler back in 1950, and I was only 19 or 20, and I felt it was a, a way of making a living. Ooh! <laughs> Had the eyes there, the shirt, Hawaiian shirt, this and that. They looked like they looked like a, a moron in heat, but that was me. People were throwing rocks at me and snowballs at me, and I'd come into a arena like Madison Square Garden, and they'd come out waiting outside for me. Captain Lou, you bum you, you this and I said, oh boy, I've got to go, I've got to stop this. I said, this is ridiculous. I told my wife, I said, I'm going to end up either getting killed, one of these guys, I said, there's something. So I started to turn around becoming a good guy, which we call in wrestling a baby face. That's a good guy. Even though wrestling is a show, you got to be careful. You can break your back or your this and that. I've broken my back twice of this. So I turned around and I decided to stop wrestling and work as a manager. And uh, I started managing, uh, oh, the Sheik, uh, the Valiant Brothers. And then I also handled Cindy Lauper. And girls want to have fun. Dear Cindy, sorry I'm not here, but I've gone for good. Uh-oh! It should say, I've gone for good fried chicken. That's when children's television came calling. Deke Entertainment was teaming up with Nintendo to bring the iconic Super Mario Brothers to the small screen. They approached me for the part, and I thought it was an opportunity. First, I didn't want to do it. I forget I have in the wrestling and forget about that. But then my wife talked to me and said, hey, look, let's take a shot at it. But what about his trademarked beard? And I didn't want to shave it off. I mean, I was used to the wrestling with a rubber band in my beard and this and that. The guy looked at you and said, you can't go with that. I said, I don't want to know that. Unfortunately for Lou, losing his beard was non-negotiable. That's when he got a call from an old friend. We just filmed and I knew for years. He's a friend. And he uh, put me on the show and asked me to do it. And I said, okay, let's go. And I boom, boom, boom. And next thing I was, that was it. Mario was a great guy. He was kind of, you know, like a guy off the street, the big slob that did everything wrong, but was still Super Mario. Deke had their Mario, but the producers were far from done. After all, the show was named after the Super Mario Brothers, which included the equally crucial Luigi. Danny Wells came along, who was in many shows, okay? And uh, Danny was up there with me, and we started reading for different, and there we went right into it. But uh, Danny Wills was very f funny and very good in Super Mario, and uh, he's a great guy. Their heroes were cast. Now, Deke had to find super guest stars. They had no trouble. Landing popular television stars like The Wonder Years' Danica McKellar and Baywatch's Nicole Eggert, pop sensation Cindy Lauper, magician Harry Blackstone, and professional athletes like Lyle Alzado. Hey went with me and had a conference and said, this is what we want to do. Would you like to do this? Would you like to do a handle with the Sergeant Slaughter? Would you like to uh, Magic Johnson? Do you want this? And I uh, agreed with him. I said, hey, let's go with it. And that was it. But Lou and Danny didn't need guest stars to have fun on the set. Stuff that we did was so off the wall that really nothing was, was <laughs> any chances. We just took chances with things and we went along and uh, there were ideas that we came with and uh, Danny Wells thought of and we just came right along with it and they added to it and we were doing this and we were doing that and uh, it was great. And we went out for three or four years and then we ran it and ran play and we had like 60, 65 episodes. And the, the name, the, uh, the show was getting over bigger and bigger and bigger. And I was very pleased. And that was great. Do the Mario swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. Take one step and then again. Let's do the Mario all together now. Come on now, just like that. Captain Lou, and I'm talking to you. I'm going to see you on the next box set. Whoa, so good, so fine. Woo! <laughs>